What is up again, everybody? I know I've been MIA, but thank you all for being here, all 130 of my subscribers and anyone else who might be joining in today. I am sorry that I've been gone for a couple of weeks. I've just been busy taking care of some other things after the holidays and uh, family matters on weekends and stuff like that. You know how it goes, but I'm back, I'm here, and I wanted to talk to you all today about this little thing here. If you want to find out what it is, stick around, roll the intro. So this, for those of you who don't know or don't already know from the title of the video is the Apple Card. Now, I've been hesitant for a while now, well, actually ever since it came out, I've been hesitant to pick up one of these bad boys because I, you know, like most other things that I purchase, I like to take my time. I'll do a bunch of research on products or something that I'm trying to buy and I'll wait a little bit just to kind of see, you know, how it tends to do uh, to the consumers. And uh, I like to give it a, a couple months, you know, a year, depending on what it is, just to kind of see, uh, you know, the pros and cons and what people are thinking about it. So this here is the Apple card and I'm going to do an unboxing now. Yeah, I'm going to give you my, my initial impressions on it. And I'm kind of, kind of going to do a, just like a, some B roll, uh, you know, kind of just go over the, the first day things, I guess, when you get a, a credit card because when it comes down to it that's what it is it's just a credit card uh, but if you're in the, in the apple ecosystem then basically everything that you have will have to be apple so why not a credit card as well let's dive in okay so here it is in all its glory uh, i'm not gonna obviously show you the front i didn't take the time to scratch off my address this time but obviously i'm not going to show you the front because that is where my address is located but here it is um we've all seen a fedex express envelope before so here's the unboxing or the un enveloping I don't know what I should say to the side open it on up and we have a cardboard box with another pull tab here nothing on the back just another pull tab so let's go ahead and pull that of course Make it so, okay, that's good. Obviously, that's not dummy proof. Alrighty, so open it up inside. Of course, we got the. I don't know if you can see that really well. The Apple logo, very sleek, typical of Apple, um, in the white finish here on the card. It's almost like a greeting card on the back. It says Apple Inc. Add just Apple, yada, yada, yada. I don't really know if you care about that, but it's there if you care. And on the inside, voila. So for those of you who don't already know, the gradient is very significant to the Apple card itself because on the iPhone with the, app, the wallet app, it actually, when you spend, every time you use utilize your Apple card, when you spend, the color of the card will change in correspondence with what you're purchasing. Say, for example, you're getting groceries, it'll change a certain color. Or if you're, you know, buying gas or, uh, you know, fuel, it'll change a certain color. And on the card, the actual card in the app, it'll start changing colors to a certain gradient. So that's what the significance of the colors are. Very, very intuitive, uh, typical of Apple. So right here at the bottom, it just says activate your card open wallet app and follow instructions. So I believe, I believe it's already activated because I, uh, I applied for it a couple days ago. I don't remember when I applied for it, but, but it was a couple days ago. And then I believe it said it was already activated. So yeah. So, I mean, in my phone, it's already showing that it's activated. So go ahead and pull this out. Kind of don't even want to pull it out though, because look how pretty it is. Oh boy. Look at that. Bing. Anyway, let's pull it out. Let's see what we got working here. It's about 
side there. So here's a card, actual titanium. It's very, very nice finish. Um, don't know how well you can see that there, but has the laser etched Apple logo and my name, of course, with the chip reader here. If you take a look, kind of blurry, but look at that. Look at the design in that. It's so minimalist. Um, it is metal. I don't know how we'd be able to take this on a plane, though, because it's very, like, if you... It's almost like a weapon, but I guess anything could be a weapon, really. You know, any card could be taken on a plane and used as a weapon. Uh, anyway, let's turn it around. On the back, same thing. Very, very minimal. Uh, you got Goldman Sachs, which is the the uh, issuer of the you know the credit credit line, Mastercard, so on and so on. And then, for those of you who are familiar with cards, debit cards, uh, ATM cards, credit cards, whatever kind of card it is, on the back you'd have a bunch of information, who to call, numbers to call. There'd be uh, you know like a uh, your code, your three digit code for your card, um, but not Apple. No word to sign. It's very, very minimalistic, and I love it. I love it. So yeah, on the back, you got the magnet strip, Goldman Sachs, and MasterCard with the two rings there. Flip it back over. You got the Apple design, your name, and the chip reader. And it's also, what I love about this is people can't, if you lost this, if you lost this, people can't, you know, take your, your number, you can, your card number. You can automatically, if you don't have your card, simply go into your wallet app, freeze it and it's you could even freeze it or cancel it and then they could just send you out a new one and you'd be on your merry way uh, so security with apple top notch not surprised um, but in terms of the actual card itself very minimalist and not much to really unbox i guess you could say or review uh, the review really comes with uh, the apr or you know the credit line or you know um, the significance of the, the, the cash back that you get, which is 1%, 2%, and 3%. And I'll go over that here in a little bit. But for now, let's just enjoy this card and all its glory. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so if we take a look here, we can kind of see, you can kind of see, you know, just a, a real basic. Here's your card. Like I said earlier, if you're, if you're spending or when you're using the card, this card here will change colors to a different gradient, uh, whatever color it may be, groceries, gas, uh, you know, utility, so on and so on. Uh, it shows you your card balance, your weekly activity here, uh, your payments when your payment is due, and you know, obviously your you got your your uh, credit limit there. Probably gonna blur that out because you guys don't need to be knowing how much I make. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't really make a lot. Anyway. Um, at the bottom, it's just a message. This is saying that my card has been delivered and we're going to activate card here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hold the phone near the packaging like such. And it's saying here. And yeah, like I said earlier, it's already been activated. So there we go. And the one thing that I love about Apple is that they make things so, 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 so simple to do. Like when I applied for this card, it was a matter of seconds. Uh, they gave me a decision, said activate your card within, within a minute of filling out the information that they needed. Within a minute, I was approved for the card. And within the next 10 seconds or so, there was an email in my inbox saying your card is on, is on the way. It's, it's, Incredible. It's absolutely incredible how fast Apple is. But so the card's activated. It was activated before it even got here. So I just got it tonight. Like if you look, this is a once you utilized or once you've used the card, this is tell this will tell you what's due, when it's due, and then you'll have the option of how much you want to pay in, you know, the wheel, of course. So of course right now I don't have anything to pay because I haven't used it yet. So I'll probably do a uh, one month or a couple weeks review and then I'll, I'll you know let you guys know where I'm at but as of right now haven't used it at all so that's why this isn't populating here so go ahead clicking on weekly activity like I said I haven't used it at all so it's not gonna populate with anything here but obviously it'll tell you you know Monday through Sunday when you're spending what you're spending how much you're spending uh, and if you're 
for any reason you don't have your card or something looks funky, you can even click on, you know, the purchase and see where it was made at what time exactly uh, with the, you know, with the, the geolocation of the card and the phone. And it's, it's Apple security is top notch. Not gonna, I'm not going to lie. And then obviously let's uh, you click on card balance and it'll tell you all the details there. I don't have a balance because I haven't used it yet. So this is basically self-explanatory. But in terms of, you know, everything else that this is what it is, it's a credit card. It's a very, very fancy Apple ecosystem credit card. And one of the ways for, you know, Apple to, to keep you locked into their, their ecosystem. I mean, as you can see, this, this card's not, it's not going to be for everybody. I mean, when it comes down to it, it's, it's just a credit card. Um, you know, the, the cashback options, they aren't that great, but who I believe this card is for is for anybody who's invested heavily in the, uh, Apple ecosystem. Uh, you get 1% cashback if you use, um, the card at, you know, just stores in general, you get 2% cashback if you use Apple pay, and then you get 3% cashback, um, if you purchase anything, you know, on the Apple store or at Apple. So Essentially, you're getting the most bang for your buck if you're shopping at Apple stores, which is what they want to do. Uh, they want you to buy their products and they want you to invest in that Apple ecosystem, which, you know, for some people, that's all fine and dandy. For myself, uh, you know, I am invested in the Apple ecosystem myself. So this is something that I definitely wanted to do. And, um, you know, like I said, there's other credit cards out there with, you know, a higher cash back. Um, but I don't, I don't know any off the top of my head, but I know for a fact that, you know, this is not the, the best option in terms of cashback, but it's, it's, it's fancy, it's nice, it's titanium, it's Apple. So Apple does a really good job of selling us on those products. Um, in terms of myself, you know, I'm glad that I got it. I'm, I'm happy that I got it. I can't wait to start using it. And, uh, oh, the other thing is, one thing that's great is you do get daily cash back. And basically what that means is for certain other credit cards, you have to, you know, you have to take certain steps and you, you know, there's a waiting period for a lot of them. But in terms of the Apple cash back, you get your cash back basically 24 hours of spending. So if you purchase something today, you get the cash back for it tomorrow. They give it to you in Apple cash. You can use it on your phone. So that is one thing that's really, really great. And I look forward to utilizing that. So uh, like I said, can't wait to start using it. Anyway, I don't have much else for everybody. Thank you again for watching. Um, I promise I will be more consistent posting weekly. Next week, I got something for y'all. So I hope you're ready for that. And as always, thank you all for watching. Please, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. Uh, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.